And we're going to look at some few scriptures and we pray. First of all, let's look at the book of Psalm chapter 32, verse 8. Claim the glory God promised to you. Somebody look at it, Psalm chapter 32, verse 8, quickly. Why is David? Is it there? You said. <laughs> you are here, come look like one short person, very tall man. He's <laughs> my driver, he did Fix that light for his car. Help me. That door was coming with that car. I will not hate that. I will walk up. Please, tomorrow, help me. I can't do that for this. Please. please. I want that to be done, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless you. <laughs> Apostle. You may enjoy this thing, though. You know you didn't start that. One pastor told me, for that cover, since he started ministry, nobody has ever given him one million. Nobody. I was like, oh, this is not the same. He said, come. He said, from today. And he's a very faithful man of God. I said, from today, you will see what you never see. My friend became the chairman of our local company. And he was looking for who will be the chaplain. I said, give it to the bishop. And he jumped. He became the chaplain. And, <laughs> you know, I'm not dealing with that one. It's annoying. And you know the mother who preached to you. That's what I'm telling you. <laughs> and you know this man. The first two million naira that he received in his first. No fasting, no prayer. Is 
Lord said, it is not what people say that will decide what will happen. It is what you say concerning yourself to the year of time. You will be a talk of the time. That is what God hears. But if you say, well, I don't know. When I talk about myself, you will be in your mind. This is my, mm, let me tell you, okay? Yes, that day I prayed. And I said, that, that woman, where is that woman? You didn't even understand what I said. I said, money will become your slave. Many of you, when you are coming, and money is here, you are coming, you started running because you have been chasing that money for long. You've been running that money, but in this case, money will be under your foot. Anytime you need it, for any time, you will enter there and collect it. Don't even know. And it happened to me. That's the promise in the word of God. What of God said, let's look at the book of Psalm 73, verse 24. What does he say? We have read that. That's the 58, verse 11. It's a promise of God. Claim this promise. By that we pray, that promise must come to pass in our life. He said, I will not leave you. Can you imagine when God says, I will follow you? Anywhere you go, let's look at Isaiah chapter 58, verse 11. Have you seen it? What does he say? 58 verse 11, what does he say? The Lord shall guide thee. The Lord shall guide thee continuously. I satisfy thy soul. I satisfy thy soul. In ground. In ground. And make fat the gold. Okay. And thou shalt be like a water. That the Lord shall guide you continuously. From today, that is a promise from God. He said, I will guide you continuously. He said, when God keeps following you, God keeps going with you, even when we want to make business, say, don't, don't, don't follow that side, don't go there, turn around. I know several times in my life, when I've made up my mind to go and do something, because I've entered a relationship with God, I said that the any time I'm about to say something that you, are, you did not approve, and even though it was on the phone, let the phone shut up. Anytime I want to say something that you never approve, and several times, over and over and over, I will be on the phone and talk about something, and, and my mind is in agreement. The phone just shut up. And that was my own way with the Lord. Praise the Lord. Say, so I will guide you man, continuously. That is, God promised you. As you are going to school, He's guiding you. As you are going to work, He's guiding you. It's a promise from God. He said, I will guide you continually. It's a promise. You claim it as a God. You say you will guide me. I am with you. You see, the Bible says, when coming by what? Hearing. Hearing what? The word of the Lord. See, I'm coming by what? Hearing. Hearing what? The word of the devil. That you can never have a car in your life. That you can never marry. And stay married. Fear yeah, that everybody in your family are dying of cancer. That maybe you will die. No. Fear yeah, coming by hearing the word, the word of the devil. Fear also coming. That I know that my redeemer lives. And I will stand on the last day. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, when I was praying for our Papa. I saw him smiling. Because you know, he seen the heart of a man. He's so powerful. Okay? I didn't come to your house to take away from you. I come to your house to act to you. Because everybody that are under our ministry, those who call me father, I didn't come to take away from them. I come to act to them. You know why? Jesus came to do it, to act to us. He did not come to take away from us. Any father that wants to take away from his son, what that father? Father come to give his son. What I come to do this time is to give to you and your husband. And that is why I'm here. And to promise you, give you the promise of God. But God promised he will guide you even to the end of your life. God promised that when that person took the waters, his brother will guarantee your victory. There is a promise from the word of God. Hold it and take it. You are children, they will mount the gate of their enemies. No, they're not, not, not my driver. He is my driver today. 
He died me even though it's not his car, it doesn't have light. But that's okay. We, we deal with it. <laughs> Praise the Lord. You know, the other father teach us how to, how to tie our face. But new father we have, he teach us how to smile. I told my friend the other day, which church is going, he told me the church, they never give me greet anybody, they tie their face. Oh, how are you going to preach to people now with this kind of face? <laughs> Praise the Lord. And so I come here to announce to you, and I'm not playing with it. The giving has come. The Lord said, I'm very true. And it's time for promotion. When it's harvest time, we must celebrate. Amen. In Jesus' name. Let's quickly, because of our time, go to the book of God's promise. And somebody look at it for us. Then I think I explained what I said. I got the patent in the strange world.
Am I talking to somebody? Yeah. When the Holy Spirit leads you, you can never make any mistake. You know, many of us were trying to do it somehow. No, let the Holy Spirit be your leader from tonight. When he leads you, you can never make any mistake. Like what the Bible says, God promise, I will guide you. The Holy Spirit will lead you because you need the Holy Spirit to be your leader. And then when I come to tell you tonight, he will guide you. Even to the end of your sin. As you are going around through that, the Holy Spirit will be going. And so when you are coming, you don't have anything to worry about. I pray tonight. May the Holy Spirit lead you. May the Holy Spirit lead you tonight. Let it be your leader from tonight. Never will you lead yourself because when you do it, you make mistakes. I didn't even know that you were a fan of Captain Krumah. But when I was praying, I hear the Lord say, God anoint him. You know, you are attracted by what you respect. If you respect the anointing of the name, you better be because of it. I respected the anointing of the name. So, in fact, if I open my phone and show you, is the man that represents him in Africa. Everything I'm doing, they say that was what Dr. Mutual started. And they are believing that this is Dr. Mutual coming up from Africa. They are believing. I even told you that the God, the man who represents him, is even planning to join with us in the National Day of Prayer Covenant. The anointing you respect, you let it become your own. That is why I don't want the against praise of God. I don't do it. I will not tell you to call them. Whatever thing they have done with God is their business. I get you what I'm saying. My duty, I say, I want to even employ you from tonight. If you are among those who talk against me, don't do it. Stop it, don't do it. Don't do it. Walk away from where they are talking about it. Walk away. Just walk away. Don't do it. You are attracted by a work they are going to respect. If you are respect, they are not going to pass again. You better you become your own. There was a time in my city. I don't have anything to do with Jeff David. I don't have anything to do with it. So then I begin to read his book. Read his book. And I was trying close and close and close. I told you, he's, he's one of his personal friends. Took me to him. I said, Pastor, tell him, Pastor, what you are doing. And I look at him. And I talk to someone. There are many beggars in the name of the Lord. She's not a beggar. That's the way I can stand here. I stand with her. She's not a beggar. I said, you need to be a blessing. Because God has been blessing her. You know, that's why I fight her in her life. He can't be holding you and go, stop it. You can't do that. Praise the Lord. She loved you too much that she can carry all your problems on her head. But tonight is a different night. I know you never know I was going to go this way. But that is who I am. I'm sorry, my sister. Me, my sister, forever. Praise the Lord. God said, I will guide you. I will follow you. I will lead you till the end of your life. It's the promise.